Okay, we're at the stage now where we can cut out for the neck to go through. I've done all the calculations beforehand and uh, fingers crossed we got it right. I was thinking about making this uh, two millimeters smaller each side and then put in a two millimeter slot, well a slot down through here. So that would hold that all in place, hold the box in place. Well, I think that's overdoing it a bit, putting a slot down there and a slot down the other side. So, yeah, I'm just going to cut it out just a little bit shy of the right size and then see how we get on. Just got a little, little bit of support in there, not a lot, but that might help. Right, then I might get a knife for the next bit. I did do it a couple of mil shy because I wanted to didn't know whether to do that with the slots through there or not. Yeah, still not 100 percent sure. <laughs> well that's the first bit done. And just to stiffen this up a little bit, I'm gonna put some glue in the sides here. Got the builders next door again. So it's only been about I don't know 13, 14 years. I suppose they'll finish one day. Okay. Quick big. that in a little while well there we are we've got it into the box and I did do quite a few modifications as I said I was gonna leave those a bit proud and I have so they actually slot into here now left and right and then that extra little bit there is for the piece of wood and at the back end I've relieved that so it sits on that piece as well. So all I've got to do now is the top. So we have the lid. What you didn't see me do was I cut a huge slot in there. One thing I forgot to show you was there's a taper on here now. This end is lower by about one and a half, two mil lower in depth than this end and that is so that when we got this on a straight line here the neck will be leaning down so we've got the neck angle on there so this is how we're going to fix it I found a scrap piece of wood and I made it to the right size because this here needs to be about 39 or 40 mil. Do it at 14 and work my way down. And we've got this, which is now, well, it's actually 30 in places. And that now fits underneath there and will support that part of the guitar. Now, when I do the other side, that's, that's too loose on that side because I said I've tapered this end so that to give me the back angle. So I need 41, 42 on there to get that under to support that end. And then 
from the underside I'm going to drill all the way through here with a clearance hole I think I think this is the way I'm going to do it clearance hole all the way through and glue this to the base that glued to the base and then I can screw through that base into here underneath to hold it all in place okay that's the two blocks made up I'm going to leave them quite big actually so that I can uh, get, give it a little bit more support on that base so what I'm going to do I'm just going to drill uh, no I'm not I'm going to glue those in place now clamp them in when they're dry that's when I'm going to drill them and from the back I should be able to drill this other base and screw that through and at any time if it needs to come out it would just unscrew it from the bottom these will stay in place and everything can be dismantled I'll just get that one in to start with I think Then we'll take it from there. Okay, I've marked it out there and there. And we're now going to drill it four and a half millimeters clearance. And what I've done here, just get some blocks underneath to support it. Yep, all ready to go. Wanted a little bit. Okay. So I put the neck back in. I'm going to use that clearance drill again just to mark the underside of this neck. So now I know where to put the other drill. Okay. So, got a two mil drill here. Get that in the center. First one in. Here we go. Just touch it on there. Unscrew it. I know it seems long winded, but it's if you don't take care with this, then your neck will be out of line with the body. Just did a two mil now. Always take the drill out when you're using these small ones. It's so easy to put the put the drill down and break it. 
So, right. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, so we've now got the neck bolted to the bottom of the box. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill through here, where we've got those um, pillars in the corner to hold it all level. And I'm going to put little screws in here to hold the top in place. So that's the next job. Okay, we've got a one and a half mil drill. Because we're rocking now on these bits underneath, so I'm going to be very careful. Right, now we're getting there. We've got a long straight edge on there. And you should be able to see that there is a back angle on that neck. cut a piece off it's too high but I can take it down a bit further or I can cut three slots in here to set the strings down on it which is probably what I'll do right let's get on with the next bit <laughs> 